Zoomer Life. Health, wellness, and longevity from the world's brightest minds. Okay, Charlie Farkerson. I would give him an introduction, but really this is one of those fellas in Canada that we really don't need to introduce. Charlie and I were once going to make a movie called Charlie Pulls It Off. But it, it was censored. Look at Moses. I'm flying on one wing on account of that darn Don Hart who is full of vanity. He didn't want to take his cane to a meeting of old actors at the PAL performing Arts Lodge because he wanted to boast about how young he was, which he ain't. And then he went to the bathroom without a cane, of course, and Citizen without a cane <laughs> fell on the floor of the elevator and it banged him his shoulder against the back and he broke our collarbones. <laughs> so he's fine. He's recuperating uh, back home. And, and I'm trying to run a farm with one hand. And, and ch ch uh, cows don't like it when you just have the one tit to pull on. <laughs> but he, 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 he's retarded a year ago. Uh, uh, like the uh, head uh, grit for Ontario, Adulty McGilty. That's what he done two weeks ago at the same time as he turned into a pro rogue. <laughs> Shut down your Queen's porters and wouldn't let them come to work till next February when they're going to hold a, 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 a thing for Dalton, a, 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 a bile erection. <laughs> but I hear Dalton is going to, by that time, be up in Ottawa trying to be a federast. <laughs> uh, he, he said he wouldn't touch the, 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 the Trudeau boy, so I figured he's going to move over to that other pro-rogue, a double pro-rogue, Stevie Harpy. <laughs> you remember when he came in from the West and the uh, reform party, which has nothing to do with agriculture, it's all to do with oil. And then he formed a coalition with, uh, 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 what's his name, the Stevie, uh, no, uh, the, the fellow that, that uh, hitches rides uh, in the Air Force. He's the Minister of Offensiveness. <laughs> anyway, he's the head of the Retrogressive Preservative Party. So Stevie Harpy forgot about the, uh, the, uh, the Westerners and became the Premier of the Retrogressive Preservatives. But I think of more as a suppository. <laughs> because his motto seems to be freedom from information. But I'm, I'm digesting here because I've got a book to sell. Uh, uh, it, 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 Don Harn, who is God knows where it, it, in his bed, I guess, uh, and I writ together with collaborators. Well, you remember what happened to collaborators during World War XI? Anyway, we're taking a chance because I'm trying to get royalty, just like the Queen. And John, Don Harn gets royalty all the time from that musical he wrote, a Little Orphan Annie of the Green Gages, <laughs> in its 49th season next summer, living off the royalty. I've, have you ever seen it? I never have. The wife, she went to see it and trod at the LG Theater, and she said it was terrible. She says, it, 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 all they do is sing Anna Green Gables, never change. Never change? Don't seem to be very sanitary. <laughs> anyway, he's written about that, and he's 77 years in the business. Started when he was a little 10-year-old uh, uh, doing chalk talks with the uh, colored chalks on a big sheet of white paper at mother and son banquets. And he done so good at that, he says. He says a lot of things. 
He says he got the Order of Canada and the Order of Ontario. That sucker, he'll take orders from anybody. <laughs> but anyway, he was signed up to do a radio broadcast three times a week. The year before the CBC started, you know, the Canadian Bart Corping Castration. <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. And then, but he has told a lie about me. In 1952, he claims that I was born on stage uh, during a thing called Spring Flaw. <laughs> and it was a four-minute delivery. That is an absolute lie. I was born in Parry Sound, rural route number two, not far from the old ore house where Bobby's parents still live. <laughs> and I, my, I admit that I came out feet first. It was what they call your breeches birth, and I've stood there with my feet parallel to the ground ever since. <laughs> so don't believe a thing Don Harn says. I do all the funny stuff. He does the tragical stuff in the book. It's called My Double Life, split between the two of us. But you know, he should have called it My Double Double Life because he, he was also a drag queen. He, t he took off the part of my actual rich bitch city cousin, Valerie Rosedale. And uh, there's pictures of him on, on the back cover. And, and, uh, but she, she's real. Uh, she was born north of Paris Sound in the little uh, uh, town of uh, Nobel. And when he went to, she went to the local school, she was considered by the boys in that school as the Nobel Prize. So her, her mother took her out, out and sent her to a private school in Toronto, uh, Loathsome Hall. It's like a lot of BSS, you know. And, 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 uh, but she, there, she, she became a debut tramp. She, she, she came out. <laughs> she came out at Queen's Park as the Tories were going in. And she met her intended, uh, it was like at first sight, Charles Dale. And by golly, said they didn't end up married in the uh, church on the St. Clair um, uh, Eaton's Memorial, erected to the greater glory of uh, Timothy and all Eaton's in loving memory of God. <laughs> and it was there she became Valerie Rose Hyphen Dale. And she says it took the her husband, the fifth day of their honeymoon, for her to give up her hyphen. <laughs> but that's, that's all neither here nor there, because uh, 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 she's supposed to be kind of cultured. Compared to my wife, Valida Drain Farkerson, who was a drain on her father's side and a boil on her mother's, <laughs> she, she's, she's a barbarian. My wife is, uh, started the Festival of the Sound, uh, music uh, played by a sympathy orchestra that keeps threatening to turn into a tune and never does. <laughs> Not my idea of music. Mine is uh, Stumpy Tom Connors banging his board. <laughs> but anyway, she, she's, a, she's the harpiest, and she puts that thing between her knees and wangs away them archipelagos and to beat the band. And, and I, I must say, I admire her pluck. <laughs> but she always wants to go to the other festival down in the, the Shakespeare one. And she got her chance when I got a John Deere, a Dear John letter from the John Deere people. Uh, they, uh, I was trying to get a part from my Ma Massey Ferguson tractor. And I tried Alice Chalmers, and I tried, and the, the John Deere people said, we, we, we don't have it, but there is a new company down in uh, where the Shakespeare Festival is from Germany called Achtiens Gesellschaft. Fischer Achtiens Gesellschaft, uh, F-A-G for short. So I said, we got, I got to go down to Shakespeare, Ontario. And the wife says, I'm coming with you. I want to see that festival. So we drove down to Shakespeare, and there wasn't no festival there at all. Just a bunch of antique stores. And, and uh, we seen a fellow hoeing his turnips in the field, and we said, where's the Shakespeare Festival? He says, it's eight miles down the road in Stratford. 
I said, what's it doing down in Stratford? He says, don't ask me. They've been trying for 40 years. I never got nobody from Shakespeare to go all the way into Stratford for to see it. <laughs> so we went to Stratford, and there was your, uh, oh, I said, well, we're looking for the Fisher Actians Gesellschaft. He said, what? I said, the F-A-G's. He said, they're all on stage in Stratford taking off Shakespeare's <laughs> parts. So we went down there, and we, I got my part, and then and, and the wife says, we got to go and see the play. And the, the big play it was on in the festival theater was King Lear. And the, the, but they said that was some plumber was going to try on the part of Lear. And Valida says she thought she'd wait until they had a professional to do the job. <laughs> so when she comes back, she says it would be more than likely to be a musical. Because that's what they do in Stratford. They, they turn everything into a musical. And she said this is probably going to be called Kiss Me Lear. <laughs> so we went down to the River Avon, which is not a river at all. It's an artificial lake with no drainage. That's why they keep the swans there to eat up the garbage. And we're sitting there eating our sandwiches and feeding the wax paper to the swans. <laughs> you ever see a swan? It's, it, it's, it's an ugly bird. Take a bite out of your arm as soon as look at you. We never had a swan for Thanksgiving, but I bet you there's an awful lot of meat on that neck. <laughs> and and uh, uh, Valida said to me, there's another festival in Ontario down by the Naggers on the lake. It's called the Shah Festival. And it's named after that fellow was the emperor of Iran. <laughs> who was kicked out of Iran by that old fundamentalist Ayatollah Kakamami. <laughs> so the Shah and his wife, the Shan, came over here. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the Shah died under uh, uh, Ohip care. So the Shan, she started the Shaw Festival in Niagara on the Lake. And, and it's going very well. But she's afraid that that new little premier of Iran, uh, Amanita Nujab, <laughs> is going to come over here and take over the Shaw Festival from her. And she, I, I would ha she would have a fit. And I would hate to be around when the fit hit the shan. <laughs> I got five minutes left, less than five minutes left to sell this book. Because it, it's, uh, what, what are I going to say about it? When I, 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 I do all my, I've written 14 books. This sucker, Don Harn, has written the lyrics to Annie Green Gables, that's all. It, so it's, he, he's a virgin. <laughs> but there is a quote on the back from a, the plumber that played Lear, Christopher. He said, uh, I've known Charlie for years. But he says, that's the first time I've ever met the ventriloquist dummy that is Don Harn. <laughs> now, the book is 540 pages. No, 440, God. 440 pages. The exact same length as little Jimmy Flaherty's bludgeon that came out last spring. My mother was told when I was very young by somebody who said, Flaherty will get you nowhere. <laughs> and I think it's true. But we're, we're, we're going to get together, and, 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 and uh, I, I would personally desecrate any book out in the lobby <laughs> if I wrote Don Harn, I can uh, forge his name. What the hell does he know? <laughs> okay? Are there any questions? Don't, never mind. No. Uh, well, I, I see. Don Harn is, 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 is all set, because he's... He's an old fart, you know. He's, a, he's got as many years on him as there are keys on a piano. Me, I'm sort of, well, I'm, 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 I'm over 60. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
but I have to work on the farm. And I, I've missed uh, Freedom 55. I'm, I'm waiting for Freedom 85. But, but w w w how do you make a living on a farm in one hand? See, uh, my, there's a golfer who makes a living. I've seen in the paper this week, uh, but, but uh, I don't play golf. I have uh, uh, my farm next to the golf course of Parry Sound, and, and there wasn't a week went by last summer. It wasn't full of, no, my hardwood bush was full of, 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 uh, of uh, uh, b b b b fellas in funny clothes lying on, on the ground looking for a white dot and a cow pad. And one day I came to rescue a cow who had wandered in there by mistake, and there was a woman on the, on the ground, and she says, Have you seen my Spalding special? And I didn't know what she was talking about, but I'd seen something white flash behind the cow's tail. So I pulled back the cow's tail, and I said, Is yours anything like this? <laughs> Got me in the throat with a five iron. But I don't know how you make money on the farm, which is why I write books when it's too wet to plow. And I'm hoping you'll buy this one. And, and, and I, 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 pff, all I can say is, is, is I'll be there in the lobby uh, with pen in hand ready to desecrate your book. <laughs> Charlie! Charlie. How are you doing? Jenny Lohan together. How am I doing? I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, a wandering wreck. <laughs> Don Harrod. <laughs> Have we got a copy of the book? Is there a copy of the book back there? Yeah, I signed it for you. Yeah, well, I'd like to have it out here for our picture. Can we bring that okay. book out? We can show the... Where's the book? Where's the book? <laughs> Let's take some pictures of the <laughs> no book? The book! Not the good book, the bad book that I'm selling. <laughs> I'll have to execute another member of staff. This is getting very <laughs> tedious. You're the executor, aren't you? I am the executor <laughs> producer. <laughs> no book. All right. We'll take you it out in the, the lobby. lobby. All right. Thanks so much. Don Harris. <laughs>